This morning, I bring to us a morning devotion drawn from the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, whose theme is Abundant Life in Christ. Walk with me as we read John 10, 10, and hear what Jesus said. The chief, the thief, comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it in full. From the above text, we draw the following. The thief who is Satan owns nothing. And Satan has a three-pronged approach to owning or acquiring anything. One, to acquire, the thief has to steal. Two, if the mission is pos impossible, he destroys and he kills that which he's unable to steal. For Jesus, everything belongs to him. He owns everything which he protects and preserves. Three, Jesus multiplies and gives full life to everything. So now who is a good shepherd? A good shepherd protects. He puts his life before the flock. A good shepherd has knowledge. He understands the threats and dangers facing the flock. A good shepherd is loving. He has the welfare of the flock at heart. A good shepherd is caring. He promises life and not death for the flock. What does a good shepherd do? A good shepherd understands the law of supply and demand. To the hungry, he will shepherd us to his pasture. Jesus says in John 6, 35, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. To the sick, he will shepherd us to good health. Just as Matthew 8, 17 says, he took up, up our infirmities and bore our diseases. To the lost, he will shepherd us to his glory as confirmed in the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. To the captives, he will shepherd us to freedom. Reference being John 8, 36. So, so if the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. To the orphans, to the widows, and to the neglects, he will restore us back to his family. In conclusion, the scripture is imploring us to, one, make known all our needs to Jesus. All our infirmities, obey him. Oh, wow. Nothing is impossible to Jesus. Rest assured, Jesus is a good shepherd. Come in and find pasture. Let's pray. Mighty and loving Father, we want to thank you for the love and assurance that all our skills situations and challenges will not crush us and we'll we will live a full abundant life just as Jesus has promised to all those who follow him. Hear us, O Lord, for we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.